Oh, thank you very much. And tell us what was going to pull off that submission in the third round. Well, the point was going against you up until this point. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was dominating, weren't I? Nah, you know what? I think uh, we've been there in probably a pretty similar position before. I don't know if you remember in Berlin. Kind of the same shit. Am I allowed to swear it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, quite infuriating. You know what? We watched him fight. But we watched his like previous fights, and he was uh, he wasn't really like a guy at shot doubles. You know, he kind of clinched up and, and dragged people down, and he was shooting all these power doubles. And I was scratching my head, thinking, "You don't fucking do this. Like, what are you doing?" But yeah, yeah, he was good. He was... Fuck off, then. <laughs> Being dominated during, let's say, a whole fight, does it affect your mind? It's like, what was going through your mind when you was, you know, all the time taken down and stuff? Ah, uh, you know, what? I've had girlfriends that like to dominate me, so I'm, uh, I'm used to it, you know. And sometimes I find a weird pleasure in it. So, yeah. What, what, uh, what were you thinking going into that third round? Like, did you think about tactical changes, anything like that? Yeah, I just thought, fuck it, let's finish this guy. That's what I was thinking, if I'm honest. Yeah. That's it. Seems like it's been too long since you're in oh, the UK. Oh yes. So what was the experience like walking back out, walking back, back out in the UK, uh, and everything you hoped? No, because I was hoping after the last fight it was going to be like a, a coming out party, if you will. You know, I thought it was going to be like my big, uh, big thing to the next stage. You know, get on them Vegas cards, maybe get on a pay-per-view card, nearly have them, but whatever. And uh, had a few setbacks, but we're here now, so it's, I'm happy now. I got the win. I wasn't happy walking out. I had a lot to prove, improve, and you know, I had a lot to show. So I'm going to take the chance. Who makes sense for you now? For, for that car, you want your coming out party. You come back in after a, a layoff. Who makes sense as the coming out? Who, who, um, makes sense to you? I've got. A few, I've got like a mental plan, which I'm not going to share because every time I fucking do it, it falls apart and whatever. But I've got it in my head at the foot, like the next list I want to fight. I know who I want to fight. Whether my coach will accept like, who, or agree with me. You know, there's many factors. He's one of the, the best coaches on the planet for a reason. And I'd be an idiot not to listen to him, you know? So, uh, I'm, I'm not talking about you. You're not the coach. <laughs> but, um, fuck's sake. But, um, yeah, like, I'm going to speak to my coach, and as long as he agrees, you know, he's taught world champions before. I haven't, so maybe maybe I should listen to him. And activity, how, how, how quick, how long before? Uh, What's the turnaround? I've been in camp for like a year, so I'm going to have a couple of beers. I'm going to enjoy the next few weeks with England in the World Cup. Hopefully we win it. I don't know, but hopefully we do. And uh, yeah, you know, September, late August maybe, I don't know, something like that. Definitely this year, not fucking next year. I mean, what do you take away from that experience in there? What, what do you learn? And obviously it's a bit early to say yeah. not being able to look back at it, but what do you learn? Uh, it's, it's one of them fights, I've had a few of them now, I'd rather not have any more, but it's one of them fights you learn from. You know, if I go out there, I put a couple of jabs out and the left hand knocks a guy out, you don't learn a lot from that. It's a good experience, it feels good, and it's not as hard work, but you don't learn a lot about yourself, you know. A fight like that, you come back and you know you've got heart, you know you've got grit, you know you're not going to quit, and you know you've got the ability to go three rounds when the odds are against you and you're sort of sliding down on the timetable, on the, uh, and you have to pull it out of your ass, and uh, I learned that about myself. I learned I can do that. Again, I need to stop learning it because I know I can do it now. Being undefeated in the UFC, is it more like a pressure or a motivation? Ah, uh, motivation, of course. I don't want to lose ever, you know. I know I have once, but whatever. But um, yeah, no, no one wants to lose, so we're always going out there to try and try and win. We're not going to lose motivation. There's another man across the cage that wants to punch your face in, so I'm always motivated to win. Lots of people online. Uh, yes, sir. You know, talking about this lovely moustache of yours. <laughs> How long did you grow that thing? Oh man, uh, I think the whole time I was off. <laughs> about a year now. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. Now about eight weeks, I reckon. Seriously, I'm a, I'm a slow, slow grower. <laughs> Big inspiration, Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Trying to start in Canada, obviously you're a, you're a, you know, a Suffolk boy. Yes, sir. Out in Canada now, yeah. out there full time. You know, what's that, what's that change that you've just been like for you over the, how good is that place for you? Uh, it's great, it's great. I'm, a, I'm from a small village. I love it, it's amazing. Truman St. Martin is, there's no place in the world, sorry guys, whoever that was. There's no place in the world that's like it. But um, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not progressing anywhere. I go home and it's lovely to spend time with my parents, hang out with the dog, even though he is an OAP now. But he's hanging in there. But uh, when I'm away, I feel like I'm progressing. I'm getting closer to my goals. I'm working with some of the 
best guys in the world day in, day out. There's more opportunities for me everywhere, you know? When I'm at home, I go running and I chase some sheep about, you know? I go swimming in the sea and get shit out of my hair because there's sewage everywhere, but it's lovely. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys.